Hello, this is Philip Jewell for Blue Hat TV. Today we are visiting with Dave Mueller, the owner of Paul Henry's Art Gallery in Hammond, Indiana. My family has been in business here in this location since 1902 in Hammond, Indiana. We have uh, traditionally been a hardware store, a sheet metal shop, an automotive paint distributor, and 20 months ago we took on the uh, reformation of the business and converted it into an art gallery. The uh, surroundings are unique, they're vintage, and I just basically figured it would make a good space to display artwork, and that's what we've attempted to accomplish here. Uh, we have been in downtown Hammond for uh, 123 years. We were established in 1887, and the, uh, the business was begun by my grandfather, Paul Henry Mueller. Uh, the, the business was named P.H. Mueller's Sons, and when I was searching around for a name for the gallery, uh, I just happened to think, why don't I connect with the historical background and name it after the founder? Paul Henry Mueller became Paul Henry's Gallery. Paul Henry's Art Gallery is the official title. Everything that had gone before basically became an operational museum. Now that was another part of why I decided to use this as a place to display art. Um, if you already have a, uh, basically an attraction in place, it's vintage, it's authentic, uh, people recognize it as such, then to put artwork, original artwork, in amongst that vintage setting gives everyone who comes kind of a double dip as far as a venue to come and see. I then spoke with Greg Boyan from the Hammond Innovation Center, a business incubator which is a joint project with the city of Hammond and Purdue University Calumet. We're trying to bring downtown Hammond back into some specialty shops like Paul Henry's Gallery and a few other shops down the street, some uh, uh, nice uh, coffee shops and a few other local professional businesses. We also have the uh, um, gallery across the street, the um, substation number nine, it's more of a, like arts classes and training and things like that. So we're trying to develop this a little bit more into an, an arts and a business district in downtown Hammond. The gallery itself is very interesting and I'd like to encourage people to come and take a look at it. It's a very eclectic mix of artwork, paint, sculptures, jewelry, so it's a very awesome thing to have in downtown Hammond. Artist Eugene Mitchell stopped by the gallery and told us about his cartoon and gallery art. My bigger art that I do, I've always won awards for or placed first or second place uh, in gallery shows all through my life. And it's a love that I have for the arts and um, I love doing it. Uh, when I'm not doing it, it's like a big void in my life. I'm a cartoon artist. Uh, I also do gallery work. I've been drawing uh, cartoons since high school. Artist Michael Kaysen spoke to us about the challenges of producing his unique ceramic art. I say that they are treated very much like paintings because um, even though the pieces are very traditional forms, the, um, the, the, the process is so immediate that I, I try to get into a place where that thing can exist the way it is only because it happened at that time. Trying to bring that same type of spontaneity to a more reserved process where you're you're glazing it and then it goes in a kill for a day and a half is it's a little bit of a challenge. I, I myself try to be open to a, a, allowing certain things to happen, knowing when to apply the control and when to let it go, and and I think that that's that's how I keep things from. Um, 
becoming stale. And that's how I keep things alive. If you would like more information about Paul Henry's Art Gallery, visit them online at paulhenryart.com or visit their Facebook page. Next time we will be visiting the Meyer Sculpture Garden in Grand Rapids, Michigan. You may view additional Blue Hat TV videos at bluehat.tv or visit our regular website at bluehat.biz and click on the video blog link. Thanks for watching Blue Hat TV.